Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale with a tropical update looking at that area of low pressure down toward the Yucatan Peninsula and trying to figure out what it will do and where it will go. All right, the low shows up on satellite a little bit better now. It's starting to gain a little bit better definition. There's upper level low pressure involved here that's trying to rip this thing apart, but that's starting to weaken. So now we're starting to see some of the ingredients coming together that will allow this low to become better organized and thus, hopefully, better forecast. The tropical tension so thick you could cut it with a knife because the forecasts, the computer generated forecasts have just been all over the road for the past several days regarding this area of low pressure. But now we're starting to see more consensus that yes, this low is expected to make its way on to the northwest slowly but surely over the course of this weekend and as that happens, it could drift further west or it could drift further north. That's, again, more of that uncertainty in the forecast that remains. How strong will it be? Well, some forecast models have it as a tropical depression, others a tropical storm. And the main impact resulting from this area of low pressure is still expected to be heavy rain. The spaghetti forecast, each line represents a different forecast solution. And you can see that, again, uh, all over the road is a pretty good description. As we have seen these forecast solutions dive deep south into Mexico one minute, and then the next minute shift back 90 degrees toward Louisiana and back again the following run. So uh, very, very little confidence in these up until now. We finally started to see a little bit of agreement here and how this low is expected to make its way to the northwest over the next two to three days. Again, the biggest impact is expected to be rain. Much of that would be pushed around the flow of the low. The low spins counterclockwise, pushing moisture on up into the Gulf Coast from, say, north of Tampa all the way back around toward Houston, where we would see anywhere, you know, forecast anywhere from four to eight inches of rain, according to the National Weather Service. What is in store for the Rio Grande Valley? Well, I'm going to take that area of low pressure out of our local forecast. There's still too much uncertainty to say whether or not we will be directly impacted by that area of low pressure. So let's keep it live, let's keep it local, let's keep it real. And Futurecast does that through the weekend with partly cloudy to clear conditions, east breezes in the afternoon, 10 to 15 miles an hour, the slightest chance for a little afternoon shower, a thunder shower, and we go on into Sunday with much the same. I wouldn't count on a shower, a thunder shower, but again, it's there uh, with an east flow as well as energy rolling down from that persistent trough of low pressure north of us. So we're in a, just in a position where we could see that uh, on again, off again. But again, the main focus of the valley forecast for this weekend, partly cloudy to clear, temperatures upwards of 100 degrees throughout much of the valley. So again, we're just going to wait and see how this low decides to take shape and which direction it chooses to move. We'll have further updates for you over the course of the next couple of days. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.